Hello guys, today I will show you how to paint the earth step by step with Autodesk Sketchbook Mobile. First we need the technical pen to draw a circle. Use the draw styles for help. Then copy the circle and fill the circle below with the filling tool. Fill the circle again with the filling tool only this time with a blue color. Switch back to the other layer and start drawing the land masses. If you want you can hide the layer below. Find the perspective from Google Earth or use a globe as a template. You don't have to be so precise about it. Or you can also make a fantasy planet, as you like. Next we fill the land masses with the filling tool. But be careful that there are no gaps between the lines. To remove the lines of the sea, use the hard eraser. Lock the layer and paint the entire surface with a green color. Doesn't look so bad could be a logo of sorts. With the inking pen you can add rivers and lakes, but you have to open the layer again and use the transparent color. Now we use the salty water color brush to add details. With a darker green you can create forested areas. You can make mountains and alps with a grey color. Try to use several different colors for curtain areas. When you are done, use the smudge web brush to blur the colors. But don't overdo it. If you don't like the colors, you can change them with the HSL adjustment tool. Now we switch to the ocean layer. Lock them and shade the ocean with the inking pen and the blending brush. With the flow airbrush you can add even more shadows. Also add the shadow on the continent layer. Switch back to the ocean layer and paint along the coast with a light blue and a small brush size. The flow airbrush is perfect for this. Use a darker blue where the water is deeper. A 
With a small brush size, you can create currents. Switch again back to the continent layer and paint with the glow neon brush the city lights and the shadow side. Use a small brush size and an orange color. This effect looks amazing and it makes a lot of fun to paint. Now create a new layer for the clouds. Paint with the salty water color brush large and small clouds. Here you can be creative, but don't overdo it too much. For the shadow side use a darker color. With the smudge web brush you blend the clouds. With the soft eraser you can still improve the clouds. Create the new layer at the bottom, fill them with a black color and use the flow brush to create the atmosphere. With the technical pen and a small brush size you can add stars. And finally with the hard line airbrush and the smudge web brush you can create the northern lights. That's it. I think this looks great. I hope I could help you. Goodbye.